Come on in. Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. I am so excited about today's video. Today we are touring a 2023 Renegade Verona LE and this is a 40 LTS. I special ordered this coach for a client. We did not make the cut for the ETA that he needed and it's available for sale. But most importantly, today I get to measure a lot of things for you on this video. Uh, we did a video on this last week. If you're interested in something that doesn't have all the measurements, Dean Jones did a fantastic job. But I wanted to bring this to you today because this is a hard coach to find and it is fantastic. Now, as usual, I like to start my videos from the inside out, but before Jody takes her on back, I just wanna take some time to go ahead and measure for you. Uh, by the way, thank you very much to my client who took delivery of our 40, uh, our 38 LDG last week. Mike, I appreciate you. Here's my fantastic measuring tape just working for us right now. 22 inches in clearance right here. I get that question a ton. And if you'd like to know how deep it is, might as well measure this while I'm up top and it's easy. I've got just about 54 inches overall in terms of depth. And then in terms of overall length, this is a really nice coach for anybody who's got taller friends that might want to join them. This is enough room for, for certain for an adult. Uh, this is 77 inches long up here. So lots and lots of room in this bunk over cab model. But like I said, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm joining you here live from TransWest Truck Trailer RV. And you can find us every day of the week, uh, three times a day doing a truck, a trailer, and an RV video here at TransWest in Frederick, Colorado. And you can always follow up with us at uh, our YouTube station, TTTRV. You can find me at RVs Inside Out. And this is a live Facebook video brought to you, like I said, three days a week. So if you've got questions, feel free to chime in, ask away, and I'll get back to you with those answers live on camera. Uh, as usual, Jody, I like to start my videos from the inside out, so go ahead and take her on back. Uh, this is a really nice option or opportunity to show you the Charleston interior as well. Charleston is something that we don't see a lot of. A lot of people tend to stick with those grays these days. And I just think that this lovely Charleston decor is so beautiful, especially with our new Woodstock wood interior. So this Woodstock wood is a nice uh, kind of gray and beige, uh, you know, looking wood color. It's pretty fantastic. What's nice about it is it's really neutral. So if you wanted to pair your coach with a gray, if you wanted to pair it with any of your more uh, natural wood tones, you could really bring in a lot of different influences into this RV. And I think that that's something people have been looking for for a long time. Now let's talk a little bit about what makes an LTS special. Uh, one of the best aspects of this coach is the fact that you've got this really nice rear bedroom. So as you can see, you've got a 72 by 74 RV King bed. Uh, this mattress is an eye relax mattress. I just want to show this to you. Um, this iRelax mattress has got a really nice cooling uh, mattress foam top and it's a very nice memory foam. So this is a mattress that you would not need to replace if you bought this RV. This is a fantastic sleeping mattress. Nice firmness to it. Very, very comfortable. And then underneath, you'll see we have both of our 75 gallon water tanks. These are our fresh water tanks. This coach has 150 gallons of fresh water. It has 75 gallons of gray water and 75 gallon black water. It is a fantastic capacity uh, for those of you who are out camping. And what's nice about that is having this water here underneath the bed gives us an ability to keep that from uh, freezing. It's already inside of the coach. So you have a little bit less that you're going to need to worry about uh, getting cold. That being said, we do have heat strips on our exterior tanks. So this is very much an all season coach. This is an all electric coach. It has hydronic heat running a tube of liquid. It's antifreeze out of its boiler system, which is a 450D aqua hot unit. Underneath the coach, that 450D is running this tube uh, throughout the coach, keeping those bays warm underneath and also allowing you to have very nice centrally ducted uh, heat in this coach. So that's going to be coming out of the floorboards. Uh, you'll see that throughout the RV, let's see if I can find one for you. So here's a good example, Jody, right here. And then there's gonna be another one under the bed. You'll see these vent systems. So this is just pushing warm air over, these, uh, over that tube of liquid. There's another vent here under the bed. 
I don't know if you can get around and see that. But this is what's going to allow you to have uh, that really nice quiet heat and that can be running off of your 450D aqua hot unit uh, being powered either by 50 amp or you could also power that system uh, by your diesel tank. Now you have a 100 gallon fuel capacity on this coach so you can get out there and stay out there for a good period of time as long as you have enough gray water and fresh water you can be out there camping. Now one of the nice features of the Renegade LE product is that we do have both our 110 outlets as well as USB and then as you'll see on both sides of the headboard we also have a type C outlet which is really really nice. Another nice feature that we're going to have is that we have a whole bunch of ways to operate and control our lighting systems. One of them is going to be this Firefly system. So in our Firefly system, oh we gotta wait for it to come on, we can actually control our house, our lights, our temperature, and our slides all with this coach. Uh, this will pair up in just a second and we'll come back to that. We're going to actually use this system to open and close the slides from the outside of the coach today, which is really fantastic. Um, now you'll note that we have, L we have uh, reading lights above. We also have opening windows on either side of the headboard here in the LTS. And then we have these really fantastic cabinets. And again, this is that new wood stock interior wood color. I just love this. Again, very much a kind of a gray, but with some warm tones in it, allowing you to have all of that uh, different uh, contrasting wood throughout your coach. Another great benefit is that the LE has a ceiling fan. So this is a 40 foot, two inch long model. Uh, the ceiling fan is also paired with two 15,000 BTU air conditioning units. And those also have uh, heat pumps in them. So you have a few different forms of heat. One of course is a hydraulic. The other is going to be your heat pumps. And I do want to just take a few seconds and grab my measuring tape. Uh, today we're going to spend a little bit of time measuring these uh, different aspects. This closet is really fantastic. It's one of the largest closets available in a side closet mounted unit. As opposed to having two separate closets, you have a total of just over 50 inches of closet space with a connected bar here up top. And then one of the nicer features of this as well is if you do have longer hanging things, you can remove the central, this central uh, divider and you can have a longer closet. If you decided to stick with this, uh, with this three closet system though, you'd have just over 25 inches of space in this bottom closet as well. So really great storage for those of you who are looking to get out on the road and stay out on the road a little bit longer. Also, look at these fantastic drawers. There is so much storage here. So again, these are, if you look at the side here, really nice dovetailed solid maple drawers. Uh, the Amish community in Indiana is really um, huge in the construction of both the Renegade and the Numar product. These are just about 20 inches wide, a little bit wider actually, but just let's go with 20. And then at just about 14 and a half inches deep, and then there's a height of just under seven inches here. And there's four of these really nice solid construction dovetail drawers. I will say very candidly, nobody can touch the quality of the cabinets in a Renegade LE. These are so solid. They have such a nice feel to them. They're not flimsy. They are really, really well made and constructed. Again, that Amish community in Napanee and Elkhart, Indiana really just comes to the table and makes us fantastic wood products. Now here underneath, we'll see our central vac. Another feature of the LE, not available on the Renegade Verona. You have to go to the LE to get this. And again, some more of that hydronic heat vents. And then you have another two drawers here, which are much longer. So, so much storage in this coach. Um, so just over, just over 31 inches uh, and just over 31 inches long, about 12, almost 13 inches deep. And then the height on these is going to be just about six inches tall. So great storage here underneath. Again, all this nice soft closed drawer. And then you've also got your Blu-ray player right here. Everything is wired with your HDMI, HDMI cord as well. And then you also have a nice storage area here. Great place for lots of things. In my uh, Renegade Verona, I use that actually for hiking boots. Of course, you can use it for whatever you like. Uh, you can take this TV off of the wall and change the pitch of it if you like. And then also you have your day shade 
and your nightshade. And I love the way they've taken this really nice Charleston with this beautiful kind of milky countertop and they've given you this oatmeal colored uh, day shade on the, or nightshade on the inside. I have a client right now who um, actually is the mother of the guy who bought the 38 LDG from me and who bequeathed me this uh, beautiful tape measure, which I love. She said, why don't they have black shades? And I was like, well, you know, Mike bought a Renegade LE. They have, they, they don't have black shades, they have oatmeal shades. So, you know, if I could just get all the manufacturers together to make one product, um, that would be something I would certainly like to do is to incorporate the color of the interior coach into the nightshade. But um, here we go. Let's go ahead and pop that open. I want to show you this nice solid mid door. So this is another great feature of this coach. So really nice uh, separation from bedroom to house. Super solid doors. If you've got someone staying in that queen bed up front or in that overhead bed, you still have access here to the middle and you can have your privacy as well. Another great feature of this coach is that I can also close this door so I can keep this privacy here. So if I'm in the middle of getting ready in the morning and I want to hop in the shower and get out and get into my bedroom without seeing, having to see someone in my skivvies, this gives me the privacy where I have my own bathroom. That being said, on top of it, I also have the ability to close this mid door here Someone can be taking a shower or using the facilities while I'm brushing my teeth, getting my hair done, whatever it might be. So this is a really nice feature. This gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of privacy. And when, of course, you're living in a small area, it's so crucial to be able to have, you know, your toilet and your shower in one, sp in one space, your, uh, your teeth brushing, your washer and dryer in another space. You've got these really fantastic overhead cabinets. If you run out of toilet paper, it's gonna be right there. You're not gonna to have to go into the hallway. You also have this really nice 35 inch radius shower. Uh, we've got a soap tray on this starting this year as well as your adjustable shower head. A top place to put a bar of soap. And then I like this little bar here. This allows you to put your shampoo and conditioner in place and you don't have to worry about it falling out while you're going down the road. And then on top of it, this is a really workable uh, place to sit down and shave your legs or wash your feet. I get a lot of people who go, oh, you can't sit there. Absolutely, you can sit here, wash your feet, shave your legs, do whatever it is that you need to do. And now that we have a different dial here, you won't turn the water off while you're sitting down. You can still have that nice warm water on top of you. But most importantly, if your husband's being really annoying, you can just lock him in the shower and he can't get out. You just pop the little thing over there and he's in here until you decide to let him out of the naughty spot. I mean, that in itself is a reason to buy this coach. Just kidding, don't put your husband in the shower, he'll get really mad. Um, <laughs> all right, so for those of you who wanna see this also, we have an equal, equal, eco, as well as normal flush on our San Marin potty. This nice porcelain potty with those two flush mechanisms is going to allow you to conserve again your sewer, uh, sewer system, even though you've got a 75 gallon uh, black water tank it is nice to be able to minimize the amount of sewer that you're using so that you can stay out on the road a little bit longer and just so you can see how to lock your husband in the thing you just close this up and it's got this little latch and not only does it keep you safe going down the road where you know it's not going to open but again you can keep him out of harm's way another thing i really like about these coaches is that we have these really great little plastic uh, snap latches for the doors, super simple. Above that, of course, you can see our nice skylight. We've got the, uh, we've got the fantastic fan uh, rolling right now. You never know how long it's gonna be that that stays on. It has rained so much this year. If it goes off, it's because it does have a rain sensor on it. Take a look at this storage here. Holy macaroni. Now these are not adjustable shelves. In some of our units, we do have adjustable shelves. These are not though, so these are 15 inches tall on the top and about 17 and a half, I'm sorry, 15 on the bottom, 17 and a half on the top. And then overall uh, width in here is going to be nine, nine and a half, and then just about 11 inches deep, a little bit deeper than that, but might as well err on the side of conservancy. Uh, that way, if you're trying to buy those little trays to store everything in, you can. But take a look at the size of this medicine cabinet. So this is gonna be a full, almost seven, in, it's a little over seven inches deep. 
These are adjustable. This is about 20 inches long. And then these, all these shelves can be moved to different levels. So you can choose your own shelf height. Overall opening is gonna be about 20 inches, but there's a lot of space. This goes all the way to the ceiling up inside of there. So if you've got tall things like hairspray bottles, any kind of conditioners, things like that that you'd like to keep, great place to stow those as well. Um, one of the things Renegade's always done really well is their lighting has always been first class. Um, and then I love the way they do this uh, tile here. Uh, so here on the Charleston interior, you've got this beautiful light sandy tile with a beautiful light sandy speckled countertop. And then there's no seam on this sink and it is an undermount. I have a lot of people who talk about the new uh, Ventana that has kind of a, uh, it has a um, vessel sink and those are sometimes a little bit more fancy looking but maybe not as easy to use. So this nice traditional layout is pretty fantastic. Again, three full extension dovetailed solid maple doors, drawers all the way up. This of course is a little bit shorter. I'm not gonna measure it. These are of course for toothbrushes which aren't gonna be huge to store. But here underneath, tons of storage space for your towels and linens as well as your sheets. So if you do have some beach towels you wanna keep on that bottom shelf and some nice you know, bath towels for the top, plenty of room to do that as well. Again, this mid bath model on the 40 LTS is really fantastic. We also have a full stackable washer and dryer here. Um, so as you can see, we'll use this one deed here. I do like the way Renegade makes this separate so they are on two different pedestals. They are not sitting on top of each other. And then as you can see also, they have a secured apparatus on top that keeps them from making any kind of jiggling or rocking, which is also really, really nice. And then here underneath, you have access to all of your uh, appliances because the panel's really easy to remove and access. So great design by Renegade once again. Now I am gonna open this mid, uh, this mid portal up and let Jody go through there first. One of the things I never get to do is measure this aspect of the coach. So for those of you who want to know what the narrowest point of the coach is, we are gonna talk about, well here, I'll just do it from handle. 23 inches here, including the handle. So for those of you who have big dogs, one of the benefits of buying a Renegade, of course, is in that we have the best walking space in the coach in the Renegade product. So when we bring these slides in, you're gonna see that you have the best walking space. Another benefit of having a Renegade is going to be the fact, for those of you who are looking to have your booth and your couch on your port side, this table is not extendable, it's stationary, uh, but it is also collapses into a hide bed So you've got a sleeping accommodation here, a queen size here, and then of course we've got our bunk over cab here. This coach can really sleep quite a few people. And what's nice about this booth though is that this table, even at the outlet, is 41 inches long. So a really long table. Again, two 110 outlets, USB and type C as well. The width of the table is gonna be just over uh, just just over 22 inches wide and then the depth with the uh, with arm rest in the back of the couch is 41 inches now what's nice about this of course we see our two seat belts here so we've got three seat belts there two seat belts here two in the front so this one has a total of seven on this side and then there's an additional two seat belts over here so you can actually have eight people in seat belts in this coach but, but one of my favorite things about the way they've designed this couch is that this sleeper dinette, when you put it down, you could have the rear facing, um, the rear facing car seats in this seat facing forward. So if you do have littles, they could actually have a place to sit. And then if you would like to just sit down and watch a movie, put the table up in place, you've got a place to keep your drink nice and steady while you're going down the road. But this is a great comfortable area for somebody to sit down and watch television. So really like the design of this booth. Um, again, the 40 LTS, is a really fantastic and hard to catch floor plan. Uh, that's why we had to order this. And unfortunately, um, I was barely able to get this uh, coach into the 2023 20, model year um, for Jake. And it, he needed it by April. It just came in uh, this month or this last month in May. So we didn't make the cutoff, which means all of his patience and hard work could be your benefit. Now, I do like to show you the length of this cushion because this takes up the full space underneath this is what makes the bed but this also shows you how deep 
this drawer is and how wide it is. So this cushion is uh, just under 46 inches long. So 46 inches long in terms of storage space, you can fit something that's just over 11 inches wide. And then from a height perspective, well, let's just do it this way. This is just under six inches high. So this cushion is very representative of the space that you have underneath this booth for storage. And you have two of those, one on each side. And then when you put those together and put this down, of course, you have all of that great sleeping space. The overall width of the sleeping space, if you wanna know how little your little can be, uh, you are looking at just over 61 inches. So just about five feet tall. So certainly, you know, a seven or eight year old child would be happy there. Um, I love this storage. This is one of my favorite things in my Renegade Verona. I could get those shoe boxes from the container store. You know, they have the different size, the ones for boots, the ones for heels. You get the bigger ones, you lay them all the way down. And then all of a sudden you have uh, a label maker. You just put everything in alphabetical order. You have so much overhead storage. Just want to make sure I'm accurate with this. So one section alone is just under 74 inches. And of course you have two sections that are the same length the whole way through a ton of storage. In terms of your overall depth, we are talking just under 17 inches of depth. And that's from the inside of these little latches. I always like to take those latches into account because of course they do impede on your stackability. And then in terms of height, we're gonna have an entrance that's just over seven inches. So you should be able to get a box in that's just over seven inches and then a width uh, of just under 15 inches. So there's some measurements for you. I hope that this helps. Um, it's so funny. I have a lot of clients that say, um, so, so first of all, thank you for all of you who call me. Um, if you ever have questions or you're looking to get in touch with me, this is my cell phone number. I'm at 303-562-8659. I do these videos so that you will call me. I make them so that you will ask for me, that you will say, hey, can you go out and do a quick FaceTime with me? Get me some extra details. But thank you for all of you who have reached out and who contact me. Um, it's, this is why I do these videos, so that I can really help people to make uh, good decisions in terms of what they're looking for. Um, and it's really rewarding when you get somebody who says, I've watched your video two dozen times. I write down all the measurements. This is how we made a decision on how to buy your coach. So for those of you who are window shopping or tire kicking, hey, thanks for tuning in. But the people I'm really trying to help here are the ones that are really seriously considering my product. Uh, I take great pride in what I do. I've owned a Renegade Verona. I currently have a superstar. Um, I'm an active camper. My boyfriend's been out for the last two weeks in Kansas. We had a water pump go out. I mean, I'm really good at helping with all of those things. And that's what I'm trying to convey in these videos is the utility and use that you can have out of these products. And I love to answer questions. So for those of you who see this video and like what I have to say, do me a favor, give me a call. Let me know how I can help you. Because my main goal is really to get you out there on the road and camping. I would like to see you really enjoying the product that we carry so that you can get your kids out there, get out there and see this beautiful country for everything that it's worth. We are so blessed to live in a place like America. There are so many fantastic places that we haven't seen. And I wish that I could say that somebody had seen them all but there's just no way to get it all into your lifetime. But I'll tell you, this RV will get you further out there. This is just over 52 inches wide. I'd say 52 and a half. I get that question quite frequently. And then in terms of overall length, you can fit uh, just over 71 inches for the sheet. And then the, the depth of this mattress is about, just about five and a half inches deep. So hopefully that measurement will help a lot of people. I get that. So that's probably my number one question. Um, you know, I need sheets. <laughs> what size sheets do I buy? What kind of sheets do I buy? Um, so that'll help. There's those seat belts if you wanted to show that underneath there, Jody. And we're going to go ahead and put this back. Now, if you watch a lot of my videos, you know that one of my favorite things, of course, is big cushions. How much easier 
Is it to store this big cushion by just like setting it up against something over what I have to do with my superstar, which is take off all six of them and find a place to stick them. They live, by the way, on my uh, front seats. A lot of people say, can you, can you turn these around? 100%. These are uh, they're air seats, so they rise and they actually inflate and uh, allow you to have a really nice drive down the road. They turn around, they have armrests. They are not like a Class A where they have a footrest that pops up, so you don't have that footrest. Uh, but they are really nice uh, uh, seats that turn the whole way around. And on top of that, they're super comfortable. Um, the, the texture of the material that they use in the LE on this leather is just absolutely decadent. Um, so they are great seats, but for us, in my Superstar, I have all the pillows, and that's where we stick everything up whenever we've got to convert the bed. Okay, so we've covered this. Um, I like the way these windows open. I want to make sure we just kind of cover that real quick because I think that that's important. Nice big opening windows with no seam across the middle and they pop open so that you could actually keep them open in the rain so you can get that fresh air circulating throughout the coach. Really, really nice. Um, I love the look of this dinette light. I think it's really beautiful. I also love your well sconce. You have a power button here on the side uh, so you could actually turn that on uh, on the side as well. Our accent lights, as you can see, are these inset LEDs, and they're just beautiful. And one thing, um, so Mike actually called me up and he was so excited. He said, Katie, do you know what? I said, what, Mike? He said, you can dim the lights. I was like, no, you can't. And he's like, yeah, you can dim the lights. If you push and hold the light button, you can actually dim the lights. And the reason he thought that was important is he said, the lights are kind of bright. So if you look back there, here, Jody, you put your little camera up on them, them top light, light bulb things right there. I'm going to go up and down with them. So all the way down and then all the way back up. Because he told me, he said, Katie, if you can't dim the lights, they go in your eyeballs. So when you're sitting under there watching a movie, you might want to have them down a little bit. So, you know, if there's anybody out there who knows everything, God bless you. I certainly do not. I'm always happy uh, to learn. I do my best, uh, but the number one benefit I think that I have as an associate and a representative that can give you consultation is I'm really good friends with my clients and they get in touch with me and they tell me when exciting stuff happens. I always ask them, give me feedback. Tell me about things I don't know so that I can help my next consumer no more. So that little aspect of being able to dim the lights in this coach with your, uh, you can't do it on the wall. You have to do it on the control panel there, but that is just fantastic information. Now also, here you can see, here's another extendable bed. So for those of you who want to be able to sit here and watch TV, let's see if I can do my TV lift up. I'll go ahead and pop up that television here. So of course, these are all smart TVs, right? So one of the aspects that you get in an LE versus uh, the regular Verona is you get a Samsung microwave uh, instead of the high point. They both work really well. It's a big microwave too. It's super nice. Like, Nice convection and microwave oven here. Um, I love the new round table that has the little stoppers on the bottom so it doesn't make the jiggle noise going down the freeway. But you also get a Samsung TV up here. Um, and then a lot of uh, the other ones you'll see in our, our Verona product have this Insignia TV. So this little 24 inch television up top is an Insignia. But when you get the, into the LE product, you get a little higher end. Uh, this is a 50 inch uh, 4K smart TV, which is nice. But if you had a big dog or two that wanted to sit across from you in this coach and have a place to hang out and you could still have all the people here. You'd have one recliner, or not recliner seat, but uh, one uh, captain's chair here. You could fit three on this couch, another two here. So one, two, three, four, five. You could have six people all with a really nice way to be able to watch television. And then of course you could have the littles watching a TV show up here or in your back bedroom. So lots of room for everybody whenever those late day rainstorms come in uh, to get you know relaxed and to really enjoy your, uh, your living space on the inside. Because of course, one of the things that we have to worry about is not you know watching TV when we're out camping, it's watching TV whenever it's raining. That's gonna be the really the big difference um, maker in this coach is that you could have everybody in here watching their favorite show. Another great difference maker in this LTS Look at this beautiful window. So again, this nice, it says insulated window. These are dual pane windows, of course. 
um, but you can open these windows so you can get all this cross ventilation and then you'll notice we still have our really fantastic sound bar up top and then our induction cooktop here in the kitchen so for those of you who aren't familiar with induction cooktops one of the great benefits that you're going to have with a true induction cooktop is that you can put a paper towel down on top of this this uh, the surface and then put an induction pan on top of it and it's using a magnetic current as opposed to a coil heat so this is not like your old-fashioned ceramic stoves and because of that you can boil water at about a third of the time uh, you also have a consistent level of heat so no matter what your altitude is you're not having higher or lower oxygen count affect the flame so consistent heat faster heat and also it would not catch that paper towel on fire so safer heat for those of you that have littles that you're camping with now another thing i wanted to make sure we measure today is this space that you have here on this countertop so this countertop is just under 30 inches uh 30 inches deep it is just over 73 inches at that point and then here it's just over 78 almost 79 inches long so really great counter space of course it's a little deeper down here the other thing i like though is this is just under this is about 13 inches almost exactly deep right here so for those of you who want to put up you know some little decorations some picture frames you could do that you could even still have them up on either side of the televator that pops up which is super nice um, now of course all of your telematics once again uh, Numar stopped putting uh, DVD and Blu-ray players in their coaches and just wires them. I think it's nice that they're in here. Um, one of our favorite pastimes is to go and buy uh, like bad movies at like Walmart for $2.99 and watch those. These are adjustable shelves though, so I think that that's really nice. And then in terms of overall depth, this cabinet is just, uh, just about 15 inches deep. So for those of you who want to know how deep that is for any of your gaming devices, and I'd say you could you could bank on it being just about 12 inches uh, in terms of clearance. There's a little more up here, but you have your stove. So um, these these drawers are going to be just about 16 inches wide. And you have again, there's that hydronic heat vents. You've got four drawers here, and this top drawer is a little more shallow, but a great place to keep uh, silverware, spatulas, and the like. Of course, you've got all of your remotes for your Insignia TV, your soundbar, and then you've got your TV lift control here as well, so you can have a remote. So that's kind of a nice feature. Uh, now again, this is going to be the Woodstock Wood Decor, the Charleston interior. Um, and then on the exterior, you saw those extra paint uh, touch up paint uh, containers that's for the snowdrift exterior uh, so another nice feature of this so you have this great height here great place to keep your coffee maker but if you want to know how tall your coffee maker can be I'm just over 17 inches tall there and then at this location I'm just over two feet tall almost 25 inches and then more great storage up here as well as a really nice kitchen window lots of room for plates and cups and bowls and then a really nice single basin undermount sink and as you can see uh, one of the things that i really like about renegade is that they do like to use american-made products um, another thing worth mentioning so we talked a little bit about that firefly system and being able to control uh, your entire coach uh, from your phone uh, but another benefit that we have beyond the firefly is this year we've moved to a true tank system so we had quite a bit of dysfunction when it came uh, to the actual um, capacities in our tank. Like it, on my Renegade Verona, it was never over 66%, and it might be like pouring out of the sides <laughs> and down into the, into the campground, but it always said 66%. So um, I do really like that they've gone to the True Tank system. It was actually a system that a lot of our campers were installing on their own, and instead of trying to mess with Texas, Renegade just said, you know what, if these guys are figuring out what's, wor what's working, let's go ahead and use that. So that's what they're using. Okay, so your storage here is going to be just about 11 inches uh, deep. It's a little bit more, so you could be safe with 11 inches. 22 inches long. And then in terms of height, you've got 17 inches, 9 inches, and 10 inches tall. And when I say 9 and 10, that's the, that gives us a little bit of room, but you're going to have to be able to tip them in past this lip. So the lip itself is about 
two and a half inches deep. So you're going to have to be able to still tilt them in there. So that will give you some idea there. Um, so this is a great pantry, a ton of room. One of the things I really like about Renegade is that they make these hard latches as well. So when you see these, you just push them shut and you know that it's engaged. You can actually see it. Um, I have a really beautiful uh, Numar Superstar. Um, one of my biggest things is this refrigerator just has this like latch so I can tell that this is latched. In my Superstar, I never know whether or not my refrigerator is actually latched. Um, now I have a 19.7 cubic foot refrigerator. It has a, like a lot of like little like nuances and features, but this is an 18 cubic foot, tons of room, super useful. Um, I actually still have all of the same little containers that I would use to stack up and keep things from sliding around in my, uh, in my Renegade and they're, they're fantastic. It's got a nice little digital display here. It's a really nice Samsung refrigerator. Um, so yeah, it's right over here on the side. Um, but yeah, so great refrigerator. But once again, one of the things I really like about it is that I can actually see the latches so I know when everything is closed and I'm not wondering whether or not it is going down the road. And more than once we've had like a soda can or something like tumble out of the refrigerator because the doors fly open. It doesn't happen on a Renegade. Not as bougie, but pretty bougie. Uh, so this is cool. All of your power control systems are centralized here. Uh, we have historically had these in a cabinet, so you haven't been able to use this space. So this is such nice space. For those of you that have a rice cooker or a coffee pot or a toaster, this is just about 11 inches deep. And then in terms of the overall height of this cabinet, the cabinet itself is almost, just call it 27 inches tall, and that is an adjustable shelf which means if you have something that's a little bit taller or shorter, you can fit it in this cabinet. And a lot of people are telling me these days that they have rice cookers. Now this little, um, this little guy here for your latch, as you can see, it's got a double latch, uh, but it does bring it down to about eight and a half inches wide at this point. So if you had something that was maybe a little bit wider, you might be able to drop it down and get the full benefit of your nine and a half inch depth. But keep in mind that that little, that little locking mechanism right there is going to impede your ability to put things in there. Talk about a lot of room for a garbage can and then a nice shelf to keep all your cleaning supplies. Very, very cool. Um, again, this is just a really beautiful execution of RV um, by Renegade in the LTS. If you haven't thought about this product before, I certainly encourage you to consider um, this is a, as a coach that you would like because it's really, really uh, very utilitarian and it's also quite decadent. Um, I want to make sure we don't miss any spots here. This is an important uh, area for storage uh, for a few different reasons. First of all, uh, heck, it's almost 28 inches deep. Um, and then and from a height standpoint, whoa, a wild measuring tape here. Uh, this guy is going to be just about seven and a half inches wide and then from a width it's going to be, or high I should say, uh, just about 32 inches wide, but call it 31 when you get those little guys in the, in the way. This is a great place for pillows. If you've got kids that are camping with you or you want to keep your supplies, you've got your nice bed here. Where do you keep all their, their pillows and stuff during the day? What a great place. Or cooking sheets, whatever you like. And then of course here above. We also have some uh, nice storage. That's the awning control for outside. Uh, one of the things that we'll cover when we go out this door is that when you close this door, um, first of all, it has a shade on it, which is really nice. So you can actually black this out. So you've got blackout shades the whole way through um, the coach, but also when you close it magnetically, it actually will, um, it will actually magnetically close the, uh, the step. So you can have that step retracted with just your screen door closed. So for instance, if it's raining and you don't want to get a bunch of water on your step, but you still like that, that nice, nice smell of the wet forest and all the pitter pattering uh, that you get, then this is the right coach for you because you can keep that door closed or the door open, the screen door closed and still have all that fresh air coming into your coach. And I'm just waiting for this to pair again. It's funny, my phone went dead, no, not dead, but you know, like timed out or whatever. Um, and so my screen unpa unpaired again, but I'm going to go ahead and start closing up these coach or these slides right now. So one of the benefits of having this Firefly system 
where you can retract your slides uh, from your phone. Um, I don't know, from a retraction point from the outside is not a really big deal, but it's a really big deal to extend them from outside. Um, I think it's super nice to be able to actually uh, extend your slides um, from outside the coach when you get to your campground because you can see if there's a tree in the way. You could also use it to extend your awnings. Um, sometimes you're kind of close to where you'd like to be, um, and so it's really nice to be able to do that. Now you'll see this is with the slide all the way in, and then we're also going to retract. So this is another feature of the LE. So not only do you have a poison couches, um, you also have an extra slide. And this is not a full wall slide like it is in the Superstar, but man, oh man, it really gives you a ton of room. And then once again, when we're talking about this walking space, this is like your narrowest point right here. Um, this is a really good amount of space. So here I've got over, call it 14, 15 inches uh, to walk through. If I have a big old dog that's having issues getting around, or maybe I just have a bum knee, whatever it is, this walking space in this coach is really fantastic. So something I really appreciate about uh, these coaches. No, I don't want to unpair. Let's see, let's do scan. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all how to do this since it's being a poop. All right, so we go here to home. We go up here to this little button right there, to settings, hit mobile app. It lists 189.024, you touch it, connecting, and then we're going to authenticate. So you just touch the little zeros. In this case, the code before you change it is going to be 001234. And so now we're all here. So now we've got slides. So if I do rear and I push and hold retract, now I'm pulling in my slide. So this is a really nice feature of this coach once again. So one of the things I like about this RV is if I'm going to be doing laundry, I can actually do all my laundry and fold over here on my bed. And with a 75 gallon gray water tank, I can do a lot of laundry. Um, so this is a nice feature. I'm going to grab this, Jody, if you don't mind real quick. Get my other clipboard out here. We're going to go ahead and head outside on our way down. We are going to go ahead and just take note of more lighting control. So if you don't have your phone, you don't have to get all the way up to the control panel. Everything on and off is right here. And you'll note that we can uh, turn our storage lights on and off as well as extend and retract our awning uh, right here. Um, we've got our porch lights as well. And then all of these, uh, all of these uh, basement doors on the LE are auto locking. So you can lock and unlock your basement doors uh, from uh, outside of the coach with a remote. Here's that Aquahot 450D. A lot of people talk about the fact that they really like the way these doors are dual latched. I totally agree. You'll notice right here, we're right in between hot and cold on our Aquahot juice. Please mention that you've watched one of my videos. Uh, right to the right of this, we've got plenty of room to include a gallon of the Aquahot juice. If your hydronic boiler does not have enough uh, fluid in it, it's not gonna heat your coach. Uh, so your hydronic heat will be out. You'll just ha you'll be relegated to your heat pumps. You also won't have any hot water. So really important to make sure you have enough juice. It's very hard to get them to deliver that next day air into the forest. Um, so here you'll see uh, one of the things I really like about this entrance point is the way they have these uh, step covers. Mine are grip tape, and I really like this. This is like a really wicked like it's it's a grippy metal. Um, here you've got a 50 gallon uh, saddle tank, so two 50 gallon saddle tanks giving you 100 gallons of fuel capacity. That's your first fill. The other, of course, is on the other side. Uh, but another thing I wanted to make sure we covered is this is where your control is for your seat. So for those of you who haven't seen that, it's kind of hard to find. It's this little button. I really feel like they should make it red or something like that so you can see where it's at because a lot of people don't see it. Uh, but that's where your seats go up and down. You can see here, this is the adjustment mechanism for these nice uh, chairs that you have. And then they do swivel again all the way around. Another great feature of this coach is gonna be the ease of entry. So you've got all of these panels that allow you to get in and out of this coach comfortably. Now, for those of you that are interested in understanding more about our new um, chassis upgrade, this is a 2023. Uh, the price does go up quite a bit in 2024. And of course, that is because of the fact that this coach has a chassis up redesign in 2024. If you uh, go onto YouTube and you type in 
2024 Numar Superstar. You'll see my video come up. I can show you in those, I've got two videos uh, from Numar's dealer show that will show you that new chassis upgrade. Um, if you wanna talk about the differences, give me a call. I'm happy to talk about uh, some of the integrations that they've made in the M2 106 chassis that's coming out next year. And we can talk about the pros and cons and whether or not it's worth that extra spend of money for you. Um, now, one of the things I think it's really nice to know is that your, your weight capacity here is only uh, 4,493 packet or 4,493 pounds. So you, that's, a, that's a lot of stuff that you can put in this coach and still have that 20,000 pound towing capacity. Now, of course, this uh, M2106 is gonna be powered by an L9, um, which is gonna be an 8.9 liter engine. It's got 1,150 foot-pounds of torque, 360 horsepower. Uh, this L9 is the same L9 that's in a Dutch Star. It's the same L9 that's in the Verona. Uh, if you get into the Valencia, of course, you're at that 6.7 liter ISB um, with only 800 foot-pounds of torque. But a lot of people go, oh, is this the 400 horsepower or the 450? Okay, the L9, the big differentiating factor between the ISB and the ISL is going to be the torque rating. Uh, so you can, you can play with the way your intercoolers work. You can play with the way the coach breathes. You can do different things to get better breathability in different situations. But the most important thing is going to be those torque ratings coming out of that 6.7 liter into this 8.9. That's the difference between having a 12,000 pound towing capacity and having a 20,000 pound towing capacity. So again, this coach is rated to tow 20,000 pounds. And as long as you stay under just about 5,000 pounds, you could use that full weight. And of course, this coach is a very well-equipped coach uh, with you know clothing and lawn chairs. You should be able to do that quite easily. Uh, now, I love the size of these bays. As you can see, they're all really nice carpet-lined bays. Um, I really enjoyed uh, my Renegade Verona storage underneath because it's so uh, just, it's very blocky. So you can get big totes in here. You know exactly what you're working with. This is the ottoman for the interior. Uh, you can get a second one. They're 19 and a half by 19 and a half. Uh, we only ordered one for this coach. Um, but I want to just talk about the, the depth of these bays real quick, just so you can see. So here you have a bay that is actually 40 inches deep here. And then to the exterior here, it's 28 inches. This lip here is a, just over 10 inches tall. So you've got 10 inches of clearance all the way to the back. And then in terms of your width, I'm just going to measure the doors. So the width of this bay is going to be 58 inches. And the width of this bay is going to be uh, 40. And then again, the depth of this is going to be, like I said, just about 20, 27 and a half, 28 inches deep. So really, really nice amounts of storage. Uh, your clearance from top to bottom of these seals is going to be just over 24 inches tall. So as long as you stay within those measurements, you should be able to get uh, pretty easily into these bays, some pretty uh, darn large totes. And then you'll note here that we have these grommets. And what's so nice about these is if you wanna be able to run your, uh, your two 110 outlets out the bottom, you can do that. And then when you're done and you're pulling everything in, you just go ahead and put these back together so that they're nice and sealed going down the road. You're not gonna have any kind of moisture coming in underneath. Uh, also, you'll note that we have Again, another Samsung television outside here. So once again, if you are in uh, the Verona versus the LE, you know, that's one of the things that does change for you as we go, you know, from the Valencia to the Verona to the Verona LE. We do upgrade some of your equipment. All of them work, I'll just say, very, very well. Again, soundbar exterior, nice 43-inch 4K smart TV. You can lock it so no one will steal it. I don't think people steal TVs from coaches. That's not what I've heard. I've heard lots of other weird things, though. Um, another nice aspect of the LE is going to be that you have your number pad and then also it's so sunny you can't see it right there there's a little glowy light that says Verona LE in the steps and there's also a great place to keep all of your slippers and then I did want to show you this magnetic seal so that's really nice so it allows you to put the window or the steps up with just the door closed or of course you can go ahead and close that door uh, so we got our Alcoa rims here. These are going to be a, a 295-75 R22. Uh, of course, what you get when you have these nice aluminum wheels is that fantastic 
uh, nice quiet going down the road. I'll tell you one thing, when I sold Mike his LE, um, the LDG that he purchased did not have the Amish racing wheels on it. And we were able to get Amish racing wheels through my parts department mounted for a lot less than they cost from Renegade. So if you order your coach for me, if I can save you a few thousand bucks, I promise you I will. And that is definitely a place where you can save some money. Um, now here, of course, we have our Truma. If you do a lot of research and you read reviews, uh, Numar will put in a Dometic in this area. A lot of people prefer this Truma uh, online over the Dometic. Slide, it, slide mechanism is going to be very similar. It's going to be a dual side. So really nice cooler here. As you can see, everything is really easy to access. It's right here. You do have your USB port as well. Um, but this is a great refrigerator. Um, and then in terms of overall depth, you can actually see the ice crystals. So we have the freezer on on this side. This is just under 15 inches tall. Overall width here is going to be just over 13. And then depth is going to be just about 15 again. So really nice freezer area. Of course, this lip's going to be a little more shallow, but still, let's go on top of that grate. Call it just about seven inches of clearance. Um, so really, really nice uh, refrigerator for anybody who wants to be able to go on those longer road trips. And then once again, these little latches that they do are so simple. They just lock into place. Such an easy thing to see. So we're going to close that. Now, I love this little compartment back here. This is a great place to keep your um, outdoor, um, outdoor um, fire pit just under 28 inches wide uh, from seal to seal. Call it about 25. And then again, the width of this door is 28. So that seal impedes it a little bit, but you've got more storage on the inside. This of course is for that uh, central vac, which we looked at earlier. And then some extra porcelain tile for those porcelain floors. I am gonna go in here right now to this power and I'm going to hit stop. I just turned off my generator. I can start my generator the same way, but that'll just make it a little quieter for us. We've got our mud flap down here. Nice docking lights in the rear. Everything is going to be LED. You'll note that this end cap has the camera up here. The backup camera is fantastic. Of course, that's one of the things that's improved year after year with all of the RVs. Uh, you've got your hitch here. Of course, you can flip this over, so you've got your two and five sixteenths or two inch hitch receiver. This is a three inch receiver, again, 20,000 pounds. You've got your Voyager camera connectors right there, as well as your seven pin. And then you'll note that this bumper here is separate from the end cap. That way, if you do have a little oopsie, you're not replacing the entire end cap. You can just replace this. Very similar to the front bumper of this coach, uh, where uh, Freightliner likes to be able to allow you to replace your bumper as well. Again, a nice storage bay back here. Very similar space to the one across the way. You'll note you've got a uh, 36 foot long power cord on a power reel, comes standard with an adapter. And then you've got this little cover here, which you would put in place when you're going down the road. If you don't do this and you drag your cord, you can get to about Lyman before it's about halfway rubbed off. Not that I've ever done that before. Surge protector as well. Um, I'm not going to measure this bay. I think this is going to be one of those bays that you use more for ancillary things. You won't be putting big bins back there. Um, 8K or 8,000 watt uh, quiet diesel generator uh, by Onan. Of course, the Cummins generators are standard in just about every RV across the country. You've got your nice little digital layout, or not digital, but your, uh, your little uh, layout right here telling you how many hours on your gen. You can start it and prime it here. You can use your app or you can do it from inside. So this morning I did it from inside. So nice aspect of that. And then let's talk a little bit about this water base. Something I forget to mention a lot of times is what's going on in here. And I, and I you know, you guys, I gotta tell you, like, I'm more excited about the exterior uh, than, or the interior than the exterior. So if you wanna see someone who really knows their stuff, Mark Love is fantastic at presenting on the exterior. Um, I'm good at using everything, but I forget to talk about like the fact that this is on a power reel. So your water hose is on a power reel. This is for your shower. Um, this is to put your water filter on and off for your whole house. Uh, this is to turn your flow jet on. I'll show you your flow jet in a second, but I don't even know if I've ever even shown 
on the inside that there's a hose in here. So if for some reason your flow jet's not working, you have a, a secondary hose in this compartment. Your low paint drain is here as well. Um, and your water spigot is here as well. And then that's right, of course, above this little guy here, again, with a grommet so that you can close it to keep moisture from coming into the coach. But it's also going to be handy to rinse out that bay. Um, one of the things I do talk about a lot is the fact that this is etched in with a water jet. So I really do like that you can depend on these numbers never going away. They're always going to be there. So you're not going to have to worry about whether or not you can see tank fill or city water. You've got your cable out right, right here and then your black tank wash flush. And again, I, I apologize for those of you who really want to know how this works. The, the way that I feel about um, a sewer bay and a coach is every sewer bay is going to work. They all work a little differently. Um, if you have questions on how they operate, being that I've had both coaches, I could walk you through everything pretty well. Um, I don't spend a lot of time talking about it though because, I mean, my capacity being 75 gallons of gray water is more important to me or 75 gallons of black water than necessarily how I dump my tanks. I know that they're going to dump. Um, that being said, how you dump your tanks in an LE if you opt for the optional flow jet system is nice. This is like the SantaCon that you would have in a Numar where it's actually sucking the poop out of the coach as opposed to just dumping it through your regular gravity tank. Uh, I've got people who like both, so it's important to understand you can use either system. You don't have to use flow jet if you don't want to. Um, here you can see our outdoor tanks again. These are going to be your 75 gallon gray and black water tanks. And then, of course, we talked about that 150 being on the inside. Now, what this coach does have that's interesting and different. Um, so here we've got our, um, we've got our basically um, inverter, 3,000 watt inverter. Um, so you can see how that's going. But if you go over to this next bay, you'll note that we have not just two, but three Dragonfly batteries. So these are uh, actually... 270 amp hour batteries and it also has this coach has also been ordered with the extra third battery so that gets us up to 810 amp hours of battery storage now I have 810 I have 800 amp hours of battery storage in my lead acid batteries and my superstar which is more than enough but it's just a regular lead acid battery so these are these nice uh, Dragonfly batteries are 270 amp hours each. We've got three panels uh, of solar on top of this coach too with over 500 amp hours of solar. Uh, but what's nice about these is that I'm getting that same amperage in a much smaller compartment and uh, a better consistent level of power in the coach. The other thing that's really nice about this is as you see Lithionics come on board with Numar, you'll see packages that are $20,000, $30,000 options. Uh, this whole package is far less than that uh, due to the fact that we have different regulations regarding pricing online. I can't disclose pricing to you uh, on this channel because we don't know exactly where this coach will be reposted. Uh, but I can promise you that if you'd like me to send over a copy of this window sticker and kind of go through the different options that you have, very familiar with this aspect of it. Somebody accused me of being anti-lithium uh, in some comments a few weeks ago. And I just want to go out there to say, I'm not anti anything. I'm pro don't spend extra money if you don't need to and understand what you're buying. Um, there's a lot of coaches. I've got a Supreme Air going into the Southeast uh, later on this year, um, this month actually, special ordered with a very robust lithionic system, two inverters, allowing you to run AC trackside at NASCAR. That guy needs lithionics. He needs two inverters. Uh, but not everybody does, so it really depends on the type of camping you're doing. I'll ask a lot of questions, and my number one goal is to make sure that you leave here with as much coach as you can get for your money, but you're not spending a whole lot of extra on stuff you don't need. So if we need to order something to get the right RV in here for you, happy to do it. I'm going to do a Dutch Star video next Monday on a 30 or a 4325 that was a special order. It's really rewarding. Uh, to get people exactly what they need. It's not that long to wait. And like I said, this is uh, the one that we ordered for Jake and I, I wish that he would have been able to hold out on his trip and take delivery of it, but it could be yours. So that's also a benefit. You know, we have really 
very nice deposit process, very nice ordering process. We're not gonna hold your feet to the fire. We're not gonna torture you if you can't take delivery of your coach. Um, so this is a fantastic organization to do business with because you can get what you want and you aren't gonna get shoehorned into something where if it's bad timing for you when it actually comes in, we're gonna force you to give us your deposit. That's just not how the store works. Um, so this little bay over here is gonna be once again at 28 inches. You do have, again, your Victron Multiplus over here. Again, that's gonna be that 3,000, um, which is nice. A lot of them are 2,800, so just a little bit more in terms of your inverter capacity. Uh, this bay is just over 52 inches of door to door. So lots of storage there. And then um, you've got our two house batteries up here as well. So you've got house and chassis. Uh, I'm sorry, your two chassis batteries up front as well, uh, right next to each other, so easy access. Another thing I like about the uh, Renegade product is the placement of the uh, six gallon DEF tank. Six gallons, not a lot, so when you stop a lot and you're always putting DEF in your coach, it's nice to have, six gallons will get you, you know, thousands upon thousands of miles down the road, so it's not like it's gonna be an inconvenience, but to fill it right next to your fuel tank is really nice because you have both nozzles right there. You're not going to the back of the coach. And then here on the inside, we're just gonna talk again about the fact these are heated seats. They are swivel, reclining. Uh, this is gonna be your uh, chassis disconnect house was at the door. And then as you can see here, really easy again, ease of entrance into this coach. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in here. Jody, you pan that way while I'm hopping in the coach. You know, there's nothing worse than seeing your butt like on TV getting into an RV. It's just not attractive. So now that we've repositioned Jody, thank you so much. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this bad boy on. So when you look at this dash here, you'll see all of my needles pop up and they pop back down. And now my check engine light's on. I wanna just talk about this briefly. This is a really important feature. Uh, if you don't wait for this check engine light to turn on, or turn off before you turn over your engine, you can set a fault code. So now that that check engine light's gone on, you can hear our lane tracking package initiate. But now that that check engine light is gone, now you can go ahead and turn over the coach. So some of the things that changed in 2024 for 2023 is that there's a little tiny LED uh, digital display right here. I have to tell you, after seeing the changes in the chassis, they're not a lot. Um, one of them is they've gone to a stock control over your Allison transmission here. You still have your on and off engine brake. You still have your high and low and medium setting, power windows. There's a few less buttons over here because they're all right here. And then the dash is integrated. But one of the things that's nice is it's integrated so it's not removable. I kind of like the removable dash by Garmin. If I've got my navigator wants to put something in, they can do that. Here's your trailer brake, it's integrated. You've got your Wabco, which is going to be your distance tracking and your cruise control that allows you to set how close you're traveling behind somebody. Um, this is all integrated in the 2024 dash. So again, tune in and watch that video. But you know, your tire pressure monitors, your Wabco, your lane alert system, all of those things are still on this coach. Another thing I want to talk about too, is this little down button here. This is to drop your airbags in the rear. You cannot drive with this on. If you do, you will burn out your tires. Mike and I know this personally because we actually left it down and then we drove across the parking lot and he had a big gouge in his tires. Um, just cosmetic, but that being said, if you're going to deploy your jacks for your leveling jacks, you want to use this to drop that first. Now, so it's not only good just for loading up your trailer, but it also will lower your rear suspension so that when you put your jacks on, you don't hyperextend those front jacks. Uh, so, like I said, tune into the video if you want to see the 2024 uh, M2 106 chassis and the changes. We're ordering coaches with those now, so if you like something that's been in play for, you know, last 10, 15 years running seamlessly, get this while you still can. Again, this is a 2023 40 LTS, and you won't find a nicer specimen of Renegade LE out there on the marketplace. Cool air horns. We've already shown you how the seats go up and down. Um, I'm a lot more comfortable on television popping in and out. I can make this look super graceful. It's just going up, of course, that you have to worry about where the camera's pointed. <laughs> All right, so chrome convex mirrors, manual address, power adjust, heated. Uh, of course, we've got our nice antenna pre-wired for your 
uh, Cobra system engine block heater right here. And then here underneath, again, this is that big, beautiful M2 106 chassis. You have a diamond shield on this coach, so you got all that anti-bug stuff, but it is a good idea to get the bugs off all the times. Uh, you've got your jump points right here for your battery. Again, this is that breakaway bumper I was mentioning to you. Oh, that was a cute little fart. <laughs> um, really easy access to things like your fuel filter and water separator. Uh, you can get your power steering fluid filled up. I mean, for those of you that want easy engine access, I've got quite a few guys that race cars, uh, race bikes, race motorcycles. If you're handy under a hood, man, this is the easiest access point you're ever gonna see. And then again, you've got that beautiful L9, 8.9 liter Cummins engines, all in red, married to your very robust Freightliner chassis. Uh, this thing is a beast going down the road. One thing I can tell you is it's super simple to drive. So for those of you that are looking to share time behind the wheel, absolutely a great coach for couples. He and she are both gonna feel much more like you're driving a truck as opposed to that class A where you're sitting on top of the tires and your engine's in front of you. So certainly it's gonna be more comfortable. It does eat into your living space. So if you wanna talk about class A versus Super C, I love to help with those questions as well. Uh, again, very easy access, windshield washer fluid, air dryers. Everything is nice and easily accessed up front here. You can see the insulation that they put into this hood, both for sound deadening as well as for heat. Uh, but super, super clutch um, execution of a Super C. And as I mentioned earlier, um, you can get those wheels if you want the American X Racing wheels. We can get you the caliber C9 grills here. Uh, there's a new C9, so if you want a blackout package, we could absolutely do that for you. Uh, this is your on-guard collision mitigation system. You've got your fog lamps down below. You've got your mobile eye camera up top got that nice beautiful uh, overhead bunk here which is an optional feature with that skylight which is got a power retractable cover um, this is a great RV for those of you that are looking to get out on the road it matches my measuring tape again Mike thank you so much not just for being a client but for donating your measuring tape to a good cause I know he said he watched uh, the video on the LE that he bought I didn't make that video for him I just made that video, but he bought that RV off of that video, and it's really rewarding, like I said, to get you guys out there reaching out to me, calling me, letting me know how I can help you. Uh, today's stock number is 5N210559. Again, 5N210559. Again, this is a Renegade Verona 2023 40 LTS, 40 feet, 2 inches long. Fantastic. Let me know how I can get you out on the road and camping. My name is Katie O'Neill. You can find me at 303-562-8659. I just love to be of assistance to getting this on the road and getting it into your driveway. Thanks so much.